Oh, uh oh. Gnarly neck situations, missing ears, and a whole lot of other wild wrestling moves gone terribly, terribly wrong. Today, we are breaking down and reacting to the insane medical scenes and jaw dropping injuries from WWE. Let's dive right in. Wow. So, okay, obviously taking a lot of injuries to that right shoulder. Oh, this is just ruthless. This is gruesome. Oh, you see a significant amount of bruising. Echimosis. When you have that amount of bruising, most likely you've actually ripped muscle. So we see this in the emergency department. More often we see like bicep ruptures. Sometimes we see pec ruptures as well. There's multiple muscles to the pec. There's pec major, there's pec minor. So if you do a regular flat bench press, you're working both of those. If you're trying to get the upper part of your chest, your pec minor, you're doing a little bit of incline. Obviously, you're hitting other muscle groups at the same time. He didn't deserve this, Cole. No man deserves this. The classic smash onto a table in wrestling. Obviously, it's a table, it hurts. Well, it hurts. If you're smashing somebody on their back, the biggest thing you worry about is fractures. You fracture to the spinous process, which is the bone that you could feel sticking out your back on the midline, which has to do with different attachments of different muscles and tendons. I've been in contact with Jerry all week. He's feeling better. He hopes to be back with us. Uh, next Monday night on Raw. Obviously, you worry about like different types of fractures around the spinal cord, the laminae, the pedicles, the condyles, all the vertebral bodies. Well, I've got some new medical information on Jerry the King Lawler that just came in a few moments ago. We understand that Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs. Bruised ribs suck. Bruised ribs feel like broken ribs. And it's just because there's inflammation, swelling, and every time you take a breath, they're moving. It's not like when you sprain a wrist, you can just splint it. Well, uh, well. with all due respect, he's also suffering from, from anal bleeding. Oh. What? Wow. So people actually come to the emergency department very often with bleeding down there. We call it rectal bleeding, anal bleeding. Anus is basically the, your exit part, right? So the rectum is just the lower part of the colon itself. A lot of benign reasons for somebody to have bleeding down there. Nine. Nine and a half. There's something called an anal fissure, which is a small cut. It's a watch and maybe put it on slow-mo, but I actually did rip his ear off. And I felt back, and I, whoa, that, that bad boy's gone. You know, it's gone. And so the referee <gasps> picked up my ear. Whoa, you see it drop on the ground. Oh my gosh. So hopefully they were able to reattach it quickly by a plastic surgeon. Ears bleed, obviously. They are cartilage, right? We all know this, but there's tissue around it. They take a longer time to heal because of the cartilage and decreased amount of blood supply. Spoke no English and wasn't able to tell me he had my ear, but he handed it to ring announcer Gary Michael Capetta brought it to the back and he told Ric Flair, I have Cactus Jack's ear. What would you like me to do with oh it? Oh my gosh. Somebody's able to rip somebody else's ear off. That means these guys are super strong. Maybe there was a lot of trauma already to the ear, which made it more frail, but that's crazy. To be honest, when it, when it first happened, I don't know what, what the hell happened to me. It felt like I'd been shot in the thigh. A really uh, strong sensation here of a, of a pop and it, you know, that felt like electricity went up my leg and I guess that was it tearing. The pain that he felt could be the nerve firing up, so electrical shock discomforts. I knew I would seriously messed something up. Oh, interesting. I completely tore my uh, quadricep, the front of my thigh. Your quadricep, obviously a big, huge muscle of the leg. There's four muscles of the quadricep and it attaches to your patella. And then from the patella, you then have the patella tendon that attaches to your tibial tuberosity, which is that prominent bone on the lower part of your shin. Going for a move I've done a million times where Kane is uh, on the second rope. These guys, super energized. For me, I actually use Level Up, a product that I formulated myself that basically helps with energy and focus. And oh. I go to sunset, flip over him. <gasps> For whatever reason, Landed I just weird. landed on the instep of my right foot. Yep, oh. And my right knee just caved in. Sometimes we have a description of how people's angles of their knees are. There's varus and valgum, and this is valgum. Because of the way the angle is, you're spreading the medial aspect or the inner aspect of that right knee. They both ended up outside of the ring where Ridge tried to execute an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Big E. 
but it all went wrong as Big E landed so hard on his head. The individual starts to flex head as it's being flipped and then in that position, in a flex position, lands on the, like, the posterior aspect of the head as well as the upper part of the neck. Big E had not been able to wrestle ever since. Hopefully he's been able to walk. I don't know the outcome of this. You can literally have an internal decapitation and die immediately. If you're having fractures of the bone of the cervical spine, it just depends on the type of injury. From the ladder match, watch Jeff Hardy. Oh, oh. oh. Nearly decapitating. Holy crap. The way that Mercury's head snapped back. Yeah, Look that's how real. Quick the blood is flowing. Oh, hit right between the eyes, you know, the unibrow area. You can actually fracture a small bone called your laminae papricia, which is like a paper bone. Oh, there we go. Talk about lucky. An inch to the right, an inch to the left. There goes your eye. You see a significant amount of swelling in both eyes, upper eyelids, lower eyelids. That's typically due to the swelling here in the middle. They just diffusely go to either side and that's normal. It's gotta be tough for him to watch that. Once he got to the hospital, I'm assuming they probably would have got some imaging before they sewed him up. Gonna be a scar there. They probably had a plastic surgeon do it, but I would tell you most ER doctors and ER PAs and nurse practitioners are very good at sewing people because they do it every single day. Oh, uh-oh. That is a high jump in the air and landing on that angle, snapping potentially a bone, causing injury to the spinal cord, swelling, could have some bleeding. Obviously you can have bone fragments cause injury to the spinal cord itself. Was still moving the legs, which was good. Could have also ruptured a disc into the spinal cord as well. Most of the time when you're having a disc surgery for your neck, they're actually going anteriorly. Uh-oh. Damn, that is horrible. We got lots of staples going on. You can see the, the scar recovery there after, kind of messes with the hair growth. Of what I could see and what I could tell, injury to the neck itself. I can't feel my head or move my head the way I used to, but every day I am focused on my recovery. Wow, the injury, you may not need surgery. This obviously needed surgery. Sometimes you have to be placed in a halo, but they actually screw screws into your skull to keep you in a very tight alignment so you don't move. These injuries were normal. Early. Wrestling is not for the faint of heart. These guys are in pretty good shape. They're picking up each other. They increase the risk of injuring themselves when they're doing these for our entertainment. Please give them all the respect in the world for what they do. Again, if you feel pain, if you feel something that's not right, needs to get checked out immediately. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to what we actually do in the emergency department when somebody gets injured like this, definitely check out this playlist right here and make sure you do me a favor. Subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.